come. Today we're going to make you something beautiful and nice. It is Easter. Um, in Easter, you know what happened? I'm going to give you a little secret. In England, they got a real tradition, which is at cross bun. And I'm going to show you how to make your at cross bun. This is a simple recipe. First of all, one cup of milk inside of this big bowl right here. Then what I'm going to do next, I'm going to use a teaspoon and I'm going to put one spoon of yeast inside of it like this and then a little pinch more. Let the milk a little bit warm, not too hot, not too boil, just a little bit lukewarm. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the yeast with the milk for 10 minutes before I put it for 10 minutes, I'm going to put a sugar, some sugar inside of it because yeast feed and sugar. I'm going to put a teaspoon, two teaspoons of sugar inside of it like this and give it a little whisk. And I want to say the yeast, I'm, you're going to see floating but floating so that but that's fine that means yeast is working with the milk and the sugar beautiful put this at the side then what we're gonna do we're gonna get the big ball right here what we're gonna do I'm gonna use my measurement I'm using a cups right here so first of all let's get some flour I'm using some all-purpose flour if you don't know what is all-purpose flour it is plain flour that's one cups of flour inside of it like this I'm gonna get another cup of flour and we're gonna put it straight inside of it like this and another cup that's three cups and three cups of flour and a little bit half of the pound so three and a half cups of flour all purpose flour if you don't know what is all purpose flour, it's plain flour. Then what we're gonna do next, simply we're gonna put in some spices inside of this thing. Because um, when you're making a cross bun, you need to have spice and you have salt. I'm gonna put one teaspoon of salt inside of it, like this. Um, we're gonna put some cinnamon inside of it I'm gonna put one teaspoon and a pinch inside of it like this um, we have some dark cinnamon this is a dark one we're gonna put a pinch of it inside of it like this we've got some nothing head not the head we're gonna put a large spoon inside of it like this nice one then next i got some lemon which already greater i'm gonna put a spoon of lemon inside of it i'm using it outside of the lemon when you grate your lemon i use it so far i'm gonna put one spoon inside of it like this when you grate your lemon use this part this smooth part right here then i'm gonna give it a little stir like this nice one and as you can see, looking really nice and beautiful. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna simple add some sugar, the sugar inside. I'm using half of the cup of the sugar. I'm using some dark sugar, brown sugar. You can use um, the white sugar if you like. You know, a cross bun can go without sugar. Beautiful and nice. Then, yeast and the milk. Look at this. It's so flat. Oh, so, oh, so that means it is ready. So, I'm gonna just put it straight inside of it, but take your time, pour little by little inside of it. Nice one. Beautiful. Look at that. That's really nice. Then that's his finish. Give it a little stir. Just like this. Lovely. 
and as you can see looking really good look at that beautiful you can smell that beautiful scent then what we're going to do after this we're going to use our other and finish it off but what we're going to do first let's hard one head when you're adding the egg room temperature and just beat it a little bit lovely that's the egg then I have two large spoon of butter room temperature and melted beautiful then we're gonna just take a little time and work team like this beautiful look at that you might see it a little bit sticky but that's fine beautiful um what we're gonna do we're gonna add some dry fruits and i'm using some mixed fruits with all different kind of fruits inside of it i'm using half cups i'm gonna put it straight inside of it like this um i'm gonna use two cups two this is gonna be one cup nice one give it that beautiful stir Nice one. I'm gonna simply put a little bit of flour right here. Then I'm gonna just take simple take out that mixture. Right here. It's a little bit sticky, but that's fine. Look at this now. Beautiful. Then I'm just gonna simply add a little bit of flour on the surface like this. And take my little time and just work it in like this beautiful man i know you guys are gonna love this recipe hot cross bun just take a little time and work it in like this your, your hand might a little bit nasty but that's fine just a little bit of flow to get some that beautiful look at this this is just beautiful look at that then what you're gonna do next we're gonna simply just put it into something and put it somewhere warm for it to rise but as I can go um, simply just put a little bit of flour right here what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna show you because I clean up my board then simple roll them out back like this this piece of the dough beautiful and nice as you can see looking really good though don't mind this thickness of it because that's fine we all know that the dough gonna be really sticky so then what you're gonna do place it in a container like this then and give it a clean flame just like this try and find somewhere really warm to put it for about four to five minutes then after you can make your you put it I'm gonna show you the rest after beautiful let's put it somewhere for four um, or five minutes I just take like the really warm. the pastry from the of the the warm so you can see how it look looking really nice and beautiful so what we're gonna do I'm gonna simply show you something remember put it somewhere really warm just for it to get rice so I'm gonna cut it like this so, cut it like this like this and like this beautiful then what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna simply just take off a little one like this I'm gonna show you what you can do just like a little thing like this beautiful and nice as you can see looking really good let's put a little this beautiful and nice 
then after you do like this put it right here on this paper baking sheet paper right here but if you don't know how to roll it what you could do you just do what you're doing like a thing like this if not really nice and i roll up in your hand hot like cross bun look at that nice one and then see that really nice bun inside of this this is a real true english english tradition a lot of people in england is doing this for the for east of the car east is just around the corner So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna, all of them is finished now, so what we're gonna do, I just beat it one heck, then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna just simple wash it over with the heck like this to get that beautiful color, nice color, just use a paintbrush and just give it a nice one like this, we're gonna do all of them like this. If not, you can use milk. If you're allergic to egg, you can use some milk. Nice and beautiful. So, preheat your oven first before you before you put them into your oven. And I want to say. Make sure you turn in your oven a little bit low and you're gonna just bake them. Put a gas mark on 8 or 240 Celsius or 475 Fahrenheit Celsius. So, what I'm gonna say to you, this 12 minutes, bake it for 8 to 12 minutes in the oven. If not, then look with a beautiful color and top. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna simply make a little icing to make the crossing on top of it because the crossing it needed to be a hot cross bun lovely um i'm using some ice and sugar right here is my my little container i'm gonna put one large spoon of ice and sugar inside of this then i'm gonna tip a little bit of milk and just give it a little spoon like this So this is finished, beautiful, get by the hot cross bun right here, then you can use a piping bag, I want to say the icing sugar is supposed to be really thick and I want to say this one is a little bit too thin, so I'll add at least two more spoonful inside of it, then what you would do, you don't normally put it across like this and another one across like this so we want to do all of them just like this everyone have a piping gun so i'm just using the icing sugar to show you what you can do if you want to make your own on cross bun quick and easy it's just a quick look of recipe for you guys then beautiful and nice so as you can see this is looking really good so simple quick and easy hot cross bun recipe i want you guys to enjoy this recipe and this is the volume one i'm gonna come with volume two guys the volume two i'm gonna show you how to use a piping gun i'm just giving you the recipe quickly one this is a quick recipe for you easy and simple if you don't have the piping gun you could simply make a little ice and sugar and put it across and your hot cross bun beautiful recipe enjoy the recipe um, I know if any question you can just put your comments below um, as I say you can use yeast and milk so I'm gonna come with part two of this at cross bun this is just a quick recipe 
And I know you guys will enjoy this one. Beautiful recipe from Chef Ricardo Cooking. Bye.